Hi, I want to talk to you about escaping your emotions. Um, we as humans are so afraid of feeling our feelings that we would rather do something that hurts us. Um, these are called maladaptive coping mechanisms rather than just deal with our emotional pain. And um, it occurs to me in this world and um, this time that things are getting, um, well, they have been very difficult and challenging. And we have got to feel our feelings about that. If we don't, we literally become toxic. And people who repress their feelings or run from their feelings, that doesn't make the feelings go away. That just makes, uh, they wait for us. It just kind of prolongs the inevitable. Our feelings wait for us to process them. And if we don't process them long-term, it becomes disease in the body because mind, body, heart, spirit, soul are all connected. I'm a holistic psychotherapist, which means that I deeply believe that mind, body, heart, spirit, soul are all connected and that emotional and mental pain land as physical pain. So we must address it and we must process our feelings and talk about our feelings and write about our feelings or draw about our feelings or take photography about our feelings, go to therapy, sit in meditation and really look at what's happening inside of you. And you know why that is? It's because your emotions are like the GPS for your soul, for your life. Where are you supposed to go and where are you going? If you're on the wrong route and you sit, your feelings will tell you that but not if you're ignoring them. And listen, I'm 15 years clean and sober. You know, I um, am a recovering addict. And so I know of what I speak. I spent a long time running from my feelings and it made me very sick and literally it almost killed me. And I help people every day in private practice to really look at how they're feeling and what it means and what they're not listening to. And when they finally listen, um, if we figure out the messages, it will lead them to a happier, healthier life. But the pain of addressing the emotions is so, you know, the pain is scary. It's human nature. We run from pain. We run towards pleasure. So we're almost like in a trap of not feeling. It's much easier to eat sugar or processed foods or fast food. It's much easier to shop. It's much easier to um, drink or do drugs or get into relationships with, you know, bad, abusive people or selfish people, you know, or people who are just neglectful that gives us a roller coaster ride of um, negative hormones and it feels dramatic and then we don't have to face what we need to face. But if we faced it, if we faced our emotions, we would be free, we would be happy, we would be healthy and we would probably be in great relationships and we'd have great relationships with ourselves. And then we would never abuse ourselves with all of this pleasure that we use to get away from the emotion. So how do you deal with your emotion? It's very simple. You sit still and you feel. Isn't that funny? Everyone is so afraid of it. I included, you're so afraid of it. And yet it will literally set you free. So you feel. How do I feel today? Imagine if everyone did this every day. How do I feel today? What do I call this? How do I process it? What do I need to feel better? Where are these emotions pointing me in the direction of? What do I need? 
what would be good for me? You know, and then at the same time, you move your body so it doesn't get stuck. So you're processing mental, emotional, and physical all at the same time, and it doesn't get stuck. It's pretty cool. And it's natural medicine, and we've gotten away from it. But processing your emotions is the key to happiness. So thank you for joining. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.